Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are well. This is Andy at Audi Upgrades. Today I've been working on a 2017 Audi TT Roadster. Uh, this is the second visit for the customer. The first time the customer came to visit, we uh, activated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and satellite navigation onto this TT for him. Updated all the software generally, gen genuinely, sorry, as we're VW approved to do so. And then we activated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and satellite navigation afterwards. Customers come back a couple of months later and we fitted the uh, genuine Audi uh, TT Roadster rear view camera system. So obviously there's no central screen on the Audi TT. Everything is driven from the uh, virtual cockpit display uh, in front of the steering wheel. So the image for the rear view camera is displayed on that screen and has dynamic guidelines. So as you turn the steering wheel, uh, the lines showing the uh, direction of travel will move in unison with the with the uh, angle of the wheels so uh, proper retrofit using the genuine Audi parts uh, coded as if it was coded and activated at the factory and of course fully calibrated um, so really good finish to this vehicle um, and I'll what I'll do now is I'll flick the video over and do a quick video demonstrating the uh, rear view camera on the screen on the virtual cockpit Hey guys, so now we're sitting in the uh, driver's seat of this 2017 Audi TT Roadster that we've just retrofitted the genuine rear view camera system to. So as I say, everything is driven from this virtual cockpit screen. There is no second screen like many of the other Audi vehicles. So everything is driven from this screen. Um, and even the image for the rear view camera is displayed on this screen as well. So this is a manual vehicle. And um, as soon as you put the gear into, once the engine's running, foot on the clutch and put the uh, reverse engage reverse the rear view camera image there will display on the virtual cockpit as i mentioned it's got the dynamic guidelines so as i turn the wheel here you can see the dynamic guidelines i'm trying to do it without getting my arms in the way moving as well and then when you come out of reverse it will drop back to the uh, normal screen um, if this car uh, this car only has rear parking sensors but if the car had front parking sensors as well There'll be a new button here uh, on this button trim uh, just here um, that would activate the parking sensors and that in addition would turn on the rear view camera. But as this car only has rear parking sensors, um, it is activated by purely putting, to, putting the car into reverse. So really nice factory finish. Um, spent a lot of time making sure the installation was extremely neat and tidy, following all the existing wiring routes of the factory uh, looms within the vehicle and as I say coded to factory specification. So I hope that was of interest. If you have any questions uh, or comments then please do let me know and many thanks. Cheers guys.